Where you put your business strategy over the next 12 months can be the difference of literally hundreds of millions for you. But first, here's what you might have missed this last week in Amazon and e-commerce news. Have Chinese sellers on Amazon undermined your online business? And are you aware of the formidable platform that 60,000 Chinese Amazon sellers are using? This platform is being used by Amazon sellers to hack into Amazon's algorithm and it is scaring the heck out of American Amazon sellers, many of whom are you and sometimes me. Enter Seller Motor. This artificial intelligence program analyzes any keyword within 30 seconds and it gives the Chinese seller the market size, the launch cost, the sales best practices, competitive profiles, and niche opportunities. But something happened that no one expected. Amazao, Viral Launch, Jungle Scout, Helium 10, are you ready for this? Seller Motor just entered the US market. So now the same program, the same company who threatened your Amazon business can now help your Amazon business Total transparency, guys, I feel conflicted. Chinese sellers have been my biggest challenge as an Amazon seller. And the most surefire method to crushing them has been building brands that people love. But now Seller Motor is at my disposal to leverage? I say go for it. I want to know if you will go for it. Tell me below. Forbes called Amazon the all-seeing eye. Amazon might make your product harder to find. If you sell it for a higher price on Amazon, than it's selling for on a competing website, like let's say Walmart. Tread wisely, Frodo, especially if you are a drop shipper. Here's why. You create a listing on Amazon. You make it FBM, fulfilled by merchant. A buyer buys it. Your virtual assistant goes onto Walmart's website and purchases it at a lower cost and then ships it to your buyer. Sounds pretty good because you make money on the difference. But if Amazon finds the discrepancy between these two prices, your listing might be buried on page 397. Who was the youngest person to ever become a billionaire? A Silicon Valley tech entrepreneur? Nope. An investor on Wall Street? Nope. A real estate mogul? Guess again. 20-year-old Kylie Jenner. Kylie did not borrow from her wealthy Kardashian family. She didn't pitch to investors. She didn't take out a bank loan. With just $250,000 and five employees, she used that money to launch Kylie Cosmetics and became a multi-billionaire. And guess where she launched? Not Amazon, not eBay, Shopify. But isn't Shopify a platform for new entrepreneurs with zero notoriety? Budweiser uses Shopify. Nestle uses Shopify. Electric car pioneer Elon Musk uses Shopify. Now the author of this news bite in Edge Weekly, Asif Shamin, concludes that Shopify may just be the better platform when building a brand. And he offers brilliant evidence. And for the long game plan, I think he's right. But unless you already have the pull of a Kardashian family member, SpaceX inventor, or an alcoholic drink as iconic as Budweiser, Shopify will take you not months, but years longer to launch your brand as compared to launching on Amazon. Because it is not Shopify that gets your brand in front of millions of eyeballs, it is you. Shopify is just a back-end tool and a superb one at that. But it's a back-end tool for your own website. And when you launch your website, you have to get the website ranking before anybody will see your products. Launch your product on Amazon with the right launch strategy and millions, yes millions of people can see your product within hours. Where would you rather start? I wanna stop for a moment and thank you for your support for helping to get Just One Dime into South by Southwest. Now there are two panels, there's the education and the conference panel that we need votes for. And the love you guys have shown has just, the outpouring's been huge. In fact, if you go there right now on the two links, you're gonna notice that some very well-known iconic brands don't have a 10th of the comments and votes we have. But I wanna throw a challenge at you. Will you help us to get to 100 votes for both? If you click the link below, you can do it. You just sign up, thumbs up, comment, that's it. Will you do this for us? Founder of Alibaba and 36.2 billions worth, Jack Ma said that e-commerce is on the verge of disruption. He said it's going to become the new normal. In fact, it's going to become traditional. Today, traditional is brick and mortar. E-commerce online purchasing products will become the new traditional. 
Techwire Asia said something at the beginning of this article, which I'm linking below, that really grabbed my attention, and I hope it's grabbing yours. Now guys, I'm noticing something strange. Most people think that e-commerce is further along than it actually is. And at the same time, people don't realize how far e-commerce is going to go, changing the way we live. Just this morning, I checked out the US Census Bureau news, and the trend is mind melting. <laughs> I said mind melting. Of mind melting. Do you realize that according to sources like eMarketer.com, thank you by the way, Lucy Koch, for every 100 everyday retail products in the US, only 11 of them are purchased from e-commerce websites like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, or any website. And the remaining 89 products are still purchased in brick and mortar retail stores. Just 11%. Now fast forward 10 years and I predict that 90% of all products will be purchased online. It's like living in the 80s and you watch this futuristic movie in this completely different world, the way the producer and director think the future should or will look like, that's going to happen to us. Buying a brick and mortar will only continue to exist when retail stores create such a phenomenal experience inside that retail store that its value outweighs the convenience of shopping online and those brick and mortars are going to make bank. For example, just two days ago, I could tell my kids needed some time. So instead of arriving at the usual 6 a.m. here at the office, I decided to drive them to the coffee shop. Now, from a practical point of view, this makes no sense at all. Why would I take the time and the gas, I mean battery, to drive all the way to a coffee shop to get the exact same drink that we ordered online through Favor anyways? Here's why because no online company can compete with the experience of sitting in a coffee shop, waiting for your oat milk latte, laughing and enjoying life with your family. People who enter the world of brick and mortar are going to have to bring a whole different game that cannot be duplicated in the online experience. However, for those of you who decide I am going to build a strategy now to be online because that is where the world is headed. Those are the people who are gonna become the world's next 100 millionaires. Will you be? That's my 10 cents.